Hey and welcome back to another Dark Vault tutorial. In today's video we're going to be making some holograms by using some video clips. So in this example I went for some sort of old antiquated look but you can go ahead and use this technique to make a wide variety of different holograms. It just depends on the video clip you use and also the node set up at the end so making a few tweaks and you can make something look completely different. So the first thing we need to do is align the camera so by pressing number pad 1 then control alt number pad 0 so if we look round, we can see it's far out, so let's just drag this closer to the centre. Okay, so we want to add a background image. So if we press N to bring up the sidebar. And we just want to drop this down, check the box, and add a new image. So I'm just using a still image, and this is just going to be a placeholder for now, just so we can see where we're going to place everything. Um, we're going to be adding it later on in the node editor, so it's just for a placeholder. Okay, so we're going to need an add-on for this to work, so go to File, User Preferences, check Add-ons, and then type Images. So this is Images of Planes, you might already have this, if you don't, just check it and then we can save user settings and keep it around. It's a fairly useful add-on to have, so I use that all the time. Okay, so now I can press Shift A, and then go down, let's find... So down here, images as planes. And I'm just going to add a single image. I'm not going to add the whole image sequence for now. Um, I also want to change some settings here. I want to use alpha. And if you want, you can change that from straight to pre-multiplied if you want. Let's change this to be a mission and then import this single frame. Let's press R to rotate, then X, 9, 0. If we just change this to uh, material, to do that, um, you can also you can just bring in a movie file and then do it in the node editor later on. It's entirely up to you. I just do it this way. It's a little bit easier for me. So now I've scaled this and positioned it. I want to press R twice, so I can then go into freehand rotation. And I'm trying to line up this line here with the table to try and match the perspective. It kind of looks okay. Just want to reposition it as well. So you might have trouble um, positioning things. So if you just press G and then Z twice or X twice it gives you a different angle so keep that in mind as well okay so that's in position now that looks good we can get rid of the background image because I'm going to be adding that into the uh, into the node editor and then I also want to make sure the background is uh, rendering the transparency so go all the way down here click transparent so now this render layer is just going to render this um, ballerina but you can go ahead and add some more details. You can also add a, maybe a smoke element to this 3D view if you want. I'll be doing that later on in a different example. But let's jump over to the node editor and switch this to the scene tab. So I've just added an image node and I've also added a render layer which you probably already have. Make sure you check backdrop and use nodes. Shift A, I want to go down to uh, distort and add a scale because the scaling is off. Just want to change that to render size. So now I want to shift A, go down to color and then mix, plug this in after the scale. Then we can go ahead and plug in the render layer. Let's give this a render as well. So it looks a bit shabby, but don't worry about that. So it looks a bit terrible, but we can clean that up. Make sure you check the, the checker box to use the alpha. So now we just need to make a few more effects to tie this up. Let's add another mix node. And let's give this a tint. Let's give this a blue color. That looks pretty good. So let's change this to multiply. Looks a lot better. i change the color a little bit. I think that looks okay for the hologram itself. Um, we do need to animate the it appearing, so we do need to add a, like a mask, and we can do that in a minute. What you can do is this uh, factor here. You can add um, a keyframe here, and then again here, and it just fades onto the screen. If you want that just to fade on, but I prefer to have it um, appear sort of like um, you know starting from the bottom and going up. So let's change this to the movie clip editor. And we're going to need to open up the still image. So this still image here. This is just to add a mask. So let's just start by clicking. Control and left click. Add these points around here. Something like this. And then Alt-C to close that mask. 
and then if we press A to select everything, so now we want to keyframe this. If we hit this button here, this will automatically add a keyframe. So let's just jump to a start frame, say this frame here. If we press G and then right click, that'll just add um, a keyframe for us. Then we can scrub ahead, say here. Maybe that's a bit too um, sudden, so let's move a little bit to say frame 50. Then press G, let's move this out of the way. And now since we've, had, we've pressed this button here, it's now added keyframes automatically for us, which is good. Jump back to the uh, node editor. And if we shift A, go down to input, and then add a mask. Let's change this mask, and then plug this into the factor. So it's kind of working, but it's working in the it's working in the opposite way I want it, so let's just go to colour, invert, so now it fades in from the bottom. So now we can add some more details like the glowing base, which is pretty important. Jump back to the movie clip editor. Let's add a new mask, and you can name this whatever you want. So let's name this emitter glow. And if we left click, we can add in the 2D cursor, and just press this circle here and move these points around. So you, at first you might find it tricky to move these handles or manipulate these handles, but after a while you get used to how they work and understand you know, which one you need to move to get the shape you need. So just play around with these until you get the shape that you want. Let's jump back to the node editor. We want to place things after this uh, scale, so Shift A, add a mix. We want to use this sort of colour here, so we press Ctrl C while hovered over that, and then Ctrl V. Shift E, since we're reusing things, <laughs> we might as well add a new mask. So change it to the emitter glow, and then plug that into the factor. Again, it needs some more work, so maybe add it in a blur. Shift A, filter, blur. Make them edges a little bit softer. Maybe some more. Something like that. And again, you can get more complex with it if you want to add another inner glow. So let's Shift D. And then we can just copy this one. So just plug that in. Plug that into the factor. And we just want to give this, obviously, a different color. In fact, let's give this one a different color. Let's make this darker. So the outer edge should be darker. And then let's reduce this. In fact, let's get rid of that. Shift A. Let's add in a dilate erode node. Why not? Let's change this to feather. And let's reduce this. That'll pretty much do the same thing, but giving us a bit more control. So go ahead and add some more details, add some more nodes. Um, for this example, I'm just going to keep it quite basic. So this was a simple hologram, you can, you can go ahead and take this further, add some more nodes, maybe add a smoke element, add some particles. So if you do make something good with this technique, make sure you throw a link in the comments below. It's always great when you guys throw some links to uh, things you made with it. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to give this a like. And as always, thanks for watching.